what is up you guys back here and I want to talk about the Coleman event to so UFC 280 we have Aljamain Sterling taking on the former champion and TJ Dillashaw for the bantamweight championship of the world the Coleman event of course the main event um, Charles Oliveira versus Islam Mahachev. I've already done that video, but if you want to check it out, I'm gonna put it in the description below and also in the cards and at the end of the video. And before I get started, make sure to please hit the subscribe or ring that bell. And uh, yeah, man, without any further ado, Aljamain Sterling has been through the ringer when it comes to him winning the title. Of course, he had that crazy thing the first time he fought Pierre de Jan. Um, you know, I mean, pretty on did throw the illegal knee, whether he faked it or not, it doesn't matter. He threw an illegal knee, and you know, it is what it is. Then he ended up fighting, um, Pierre Yon again. And I felt like Aljamain Sterling did a really good job, especially the wrestling holding him down. Um, you know, the only thing that I saw in that fight he had with Pierre Yon part two was that he got kind of tired towards the fourth and the, especially the fifth round, he looked exhausted. Piotr Jan won those rounds, but I, for me, it was a little too late for um Piotr, Piotr Jan to win that fight. Um, Chide Dillashaw has been, you know, he was suspended for like about maybe I think like two years. You know, came back. I believe he fought the last time I seen him fight off the top of my dome was Corey Sanhagen. I don't think he fought since, but I mean, he won that fight, close razor decision uh, win for uh, Chide Dillashaw. You know. A fight that probably could have went either way, but you know it is what it is. Um, now we have this matchup here, and I feel like it's a good one. Both guys have great wrestling backgrounds. Um, the only thing that I see is that if Aljamain comes out, he has to fight a lot more calm and and fight more strategic compared to going crazy. I feel like sometimes he has those things to. It's hard for him to. It looks like it's hard for him to control his nerves at times. And sometimes it doesn't play in his factor when he fights like that, all wild and crazy. You know, he'll he'll look good doing it, but it just withstanding the and having the cardio for the later rounds. If you know, if you don't get a stoppage early, you know, T.J. Dillashaw, despite of all the bullshit, uh, he's a great fighter. Um, you know, it's a good matchup. I, I like his footwork. You know, that's something Aljo's gonna have to be looking forward to is his footwork. You know, because I um. TJ Dillashaw had great footwork, some good power in his hands. Um, you know, it's just going to be interesting to see um, how TJ Dillashaw comes off. You know, I know he's going to want the title back. He, want, he wants to win to get the title. So it's going to be interesting to say the least to see how um, he's going to come off. You know, I definitely want to see the wrestling between the both of them and see who's going to have the better wrestling in the fight. Um, you know, but I feel like, again, the footwork of TJ Dillashaw is going to play you know it's hard it's a little tricky because it's it's i wouldn't say it's kind of like dominic cruz but in the sense of like i mean it is but not at the same time he's not so too predictable when it comes to his footwork um when it comes to weaving and moving out of the way um you know i definitely i definitely think though um power advantage goes to tj dillashaw if he can get his hands on um Aljamain sterling um you know but i i think that it's a it's an interesting matchup. Um, I, I can't wait to watch it. It's gonna be fantastic. You know, if I had to say who's gonna win for me, I think it comes down to who plays their their part right during the fight and who can make the adjustments on the fly. Um, you know, because it's, it's interesting. I want to see the wrestling between them because I want definitely, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to see that. You know, because Aljo's definitely gonna wrestle with his hands if he can't connect with his hands as much as he would like to. So it's gonna be interesting. I think it's, it's not a pretty even matchup, but it's close enough that it's not going to be, for me, one-sided fight, you know. But, um, yeah, man, I can't wait to find out and see how that fight's going to go. Let me know down in the comment section what do you guys think of the fight, who you guys got winning. would love to know. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to please hit the subscribe. Throw those thumbs up if you like the video, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.